in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own data center proxies. In this case, we're going to use Hetzner Cloud as the VPS provider, but you can use other providers too. Here you can see that you can get cheap um, instances, VPS, uh, for as low as less than four euros. So let's go. You need to go to this website, Cloud Proxy Lab. This is going to automate all the process and it's going to make our proxies in less than five minutes. So let's go login. Then you can sign up if you don't have an account yet, but I, I already have one. So let's go sign in. Then here in the dashboard, you can see all the providers that you can use, but this tutorial is for Hetzner. So let's go, let me refresh this, okay. So let's go to first, the, the first step, it's cloud accounts. You click on this page, then you need to click on add new account. And then you need to choose uh, the provider, Hetzner, and you can see the instructions here. So you need to go to the Hetzner Cloud Console and then go to your project, then go to access tokens and you need to create a new one. You need to give read and write permissions and that's it. So let's go. Here you can see security, then API tokens, and then you need to click here, generate. Then you click on read and write and you can type any description. In this case, Cloud Proxy Lab tutorial. Then with this APA token, you just need to paste it here. And then for the account name, you can choose any name. Okay, for Hetzner. Then you click on add account and that's it. When you already have your account, the next step is go to proxies page. Then here in the green button, that is create new proxy. And then uh, you need to select the server type. In this case, since we are using Hetzner, we are going to choose our cloud account, but you can also use an existing server and uh, you can use custom servers. You don't need a, a cloud, cloud account for this, but we're going to click on create new server. Then we choose our Hetzner account. Then you, you can choose any location. I'm going to choose this first one. Then you can choose any instant type. I recommend using the, the lowest one, this one, because it's the cheapest. Then how many instances you want. Uh, let's leave it like that. You can also use your own SSH key. Uh, you just need to, to upload your key here in, the, in this page. But I'm going to leave it like that so the server gets a new SSH key automatically. Then for the IP protocol, you can choose any of IPv4 or IPv6. Uh, for this tutorial, I, I will use IPv4. Then uh, you can choose the username and password for your proxy. I'm going to leave this as the default, but you can change it also. So let's, let's create this proxy. Okay. Then, as you can see, the proxy job is starting. Now I'm going to create another one just to show you that you can also create IPv6 proxies. Then you go here. Again, you choose the account, the location. Then you choose the instance type, also the cheapest one. And then you click here, IPv6 proxy. As you can see, you, you can choose the proxy quantity, how many IPv6 proxies. This, uh, all these proxies are going to be on, on the same instance, so it's going to be really cheap. You just need to, to choose the account, the uh, quantity. You can choose thousands of them, and you are going only, you're going to pay only for one instance. Then for the SOX5, uh, you can choose the port. I'm going to leave the default. And also you can choose your proxy out credentials. Okay, create proxy. And as you can see, we have all uh, two proxy jobs that are processing. So I'm going to wait here until they are finished.
Okay, as you can see, the first uh, job is done. It's uh, it gives you two proxies, one SOX5 and one HTTPS uh, for the IPv4 protocol. You can see the port, uh, the location, the credentials for your server. In case you want to connect to the to the server, you can do it by SSH protocol. Then uh, you can copy these credentials and connect to your proxy. So let me show you this first proxy. I'm going to use this free online proxy checker just to show you the proxy format. And then we're testing and you can see it works. Let me put also the HTTPS. It's the same, just uh, the port is different and so the protocol also. As you can see, both proxies connect. It detects the, the type. Uh, also the country that we selected and the speed as you can see it's really fast it's less than 50 milliseconds uh, it's a really good proxy let's see if this is okay it's already finished so uh, we can see here the ipv6 proxy then we can also add it here okay and and you can see here the new proxy this one it's the ipv6 one and it works also uh, each connection will will make uh, will use a different ipv6 address so you you have thousands of ipv6 address from a single instance and that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching and if you have any question just let me know uh, use the comments below thank you